You're going to need to remove the alternator to get at the chain tensioner. So begin by disconnecting the ground terminal, red arrow, from the battery. Next you will need to remove the two air inlet ducts, as indicated by the red arrows, as well as the front engine cover, yellow arrow. Remove each duct by compressing them towards the engine, red arrow, and then slipping them off the air inlet. With the ducts off, remove the front engine cover. It pulls up and away from the engine, yellow arrow. The cover is held on by five clips, red arrows, and will easily come off with hand pressure. Note you will need to remove the fan from the car at this point. Please see the link at the end of this video for information on removing the fan. This is a picture that shows you the routing of the V-belt. The tensioner is shown by the red arrow. Locate the tensioner and using a Torx driver, turn it counterclockwise 45 degrees. You can now slip the belt off the tensioner. You can also lock the tensioner in the open position if you need both hands to install a new belt. Turn the tensioner all the way counterclockwise and insert a retaining pin between the rotating part and the tensioner base. If you do not have a retaining pin, you can use a 5mm Allen. Next, we need to remove the alternator. The alternator is held to the engine by two bolts as indicated by the red arrows. Use an E14 torque, red arrow, and remove the two bolts. There is a spacer that is pressed in the mount, green arrow, that you may or may not have to press out a little to get the new alternator installed if you are replacing the alternator. If you are not, just reuse the same hardware. The rear nut, yellow arrow, is part of the block and will not fall into the engine compartment when you loosen the bolt. Lower the alternator down a little so you can get access to the connections on the back. Unplug the harness, yellow arrow, pull the plastic cover off the cable connector, red arrow, and use a 15mm socket to remove the cable. You can now slide the alternator out of the engine. You do not need to remove the auxiliary cooling hose, red arrow, but you will need to move it out of the way. Located on the engine block between the upper mounts for the alternator is the tensioner. Use a 27 mm socket and unscrew it, red arrow. Note, make sure you have the socket flush to the block as it is at an odd angle and you don't want to strip it. The tensioner has almost two inches of thread on it, red arrow, so just keep unscrewing until it comes out. There will be a little oil that comes out with it, so be prepared. Clean around the block and make sure the new seal is on the new tensioner. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.